Well, good morning. As the cartoon character Snuffy Smith used to say, it's time to pull the stakes and head for the hills. We've enjoyed staying at this RV park in Amana, in the Amana villages, the colonies, the seven colonies. It's this field and there's an eagle's nest over here. We've enjoyed watching the eagle come and go. We've enjoyed this view out our bay window here. It's a beautiful day here in Iowa. Did you know you see all these dandelions here? The flower, you can make beer and wine out of the dandelion flower. You can eat the leaves and you can take the, you can take the roots and kind of roast them and then make a tea out of it. They're nutritious, dandelions are. There are the eagles in the nest. It's supposed to be two of them. We see them from time to time, leave the nest and then uh, come back to it. So we're going to pack up and head north. People coming, people going. What? People coming, people going. <laughs> hey, we made it out. It's 11.07. We did good. Yeah. I didn't think we'd make it out that quick. Well, that was fun. Oh, yeah. That was a good place. I would recommend this park to anyone. Yeah. At the next stop nice side, big spaces. Turn Very quiet. Friday, Lake Superior. Here we come. We're about to go to uh, go through Hiawatha, Iowa. So, who was Hiawatha? She was the wife of Desi Arnaz. <laughs> Nicknamed Lucy. You know your history. What's that? Lucy. Lucy was her short nickname. Uh, uh, okay, thank you, Mark. I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, okay. okay. Thank you. What'd you find? A place. It's up here. It's it's nobody else is there, and there's plenty of parking. It sounded like oh, great. twenty-five dollars for electric if you want to hook up. Yeah, or just free. We don't need electric. What kind of a place is it? It's a brewery. A brewery. But they close at six o'clock. Is it six yet? <laughs> Almost. A brewery. I knew this was going to turn out all right. Tractor junkyard. You ever seen that before? I wonder if they think like that. We made it off the road. Made this brewery here. Sandy said we got I found us a place to stay. It's at a brewery. Right here at this brewery. We get to stay right here all night long. All we gotta do is come in here and drink beer. It's free. It's called the Duran Brewing Company. And we're going to be staying here for the night. Now, you can stay electricity over here, $25 a night, but we don't need it. But it's Duran Brewing Company. See that? Let's go inside. I know the folks. Okay, the one we got was the Blue Sky, which is this one. Okay, and this, you're, are you the owner? Yes. And, uh, yeah, it's the Blue Sky, and this lady just served it. Let's see. Let's He's check tired. Check. He's been driving all day. Yeah. Okay, one cold beer for an old man been driving all day. Yeah. Yeah. I wish you could taste it. I didn't know there's not an easy place to find the stay. Yeah. And I called and she said yes. <laughs> Are you members of the Harvest Holes? Yeah. That's yeah, good. Alright, good. Yeah, we're... Hey! Where's the water? That's real. Okay. Okay, Roger, take it back, smell the hops. This is something you guys, you have not seen before. Now listen, this is new. This is a hop. This is the hops. But the hops are, the flowers are harvested. Hops are flowers. Yep. It almost smells like bud in a way. Now I don't mean oh, that. Yeah. It, well, it is. It, uh, it smells it's like part bud. part of the same family. It does. Yeah, smell that. Oh God, it feels so good. And this is mosaic. This is a different style of hop. Smell that. What, look, what does it look like? 
but it's not bug. Look at the smell. Open up your hand and just smell those. Wow, how aromatic. This is from a flower. Yep. Okay, from a flower. Which one is this? Hersbrucker. Wow. Man, it's so good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Flowers are harvested and they can be baled and then sent to a central processing facility. And then they're processed, water's added, mm -hmm. and then they go through an extruder. The hops are processed and extruded, and we use extruded pelletized hops because they're standardized. Thank you for showing us all this. Oh, well. I we appreciate it so much, and well. hey, we've had a wonderful time here with Roger. He introduced me. He showed me all about the beer processing right over here we're going to come over here tomorrow actually and his son is going to show us the process of making beer have you ever seen anything like this he's going to show us how to make beer he showed us the hops i put that on the rest of, i put that on the video but this is his new system right here now over here he makes uh, the beer that he sells right now from this little... Okay, you guys, I'm going to tell you something. They are closed today, but they can do an exclusive for us and show us how they actually make these batches of beer. It's the best beer ever tasted. I'm going to tell you something. I've been around the world three times and to two world fairs, and it's the best beer I ever had in my life. Okay, it's a simple procedure. This is the only system he has online right now. And he can make a barrel of beer from this one system. He has this other system he put in five years ago, but uh, he has not put it online yet, but he will be putting online soon. You're about to see something you rarely see. I want to show you this. Okay. What's happening here? What are you doing? Here? Right now I'm transferring the wort from the mash tun into the boil kettle. That's it. Then we get this up to boil and add hops and uh, dry malt extract. What's the temperature, 152, I think? Right now, I that is supposed to be over there about 153. But over here, we're trying to heat it up to boil. So you're so. straining the, uh, the remnants. Yep, there's a false bottom over there, which keeps the grains from going through the hose and the pump. And then this also collects a little bit of like corn that'll make it through the real fine holes on the bottom of the tank. So we catch this essentially like a secondary filter so I see and then when it goes down there's another filter a trough filter down below there so when it goes through it keeps all the hops from wow. going through and then it goes through the chiller that kind of filters and then uh and it settles out in the fermenter you take a little bit off and you put it in the bright tank that settles out and then it comes out pretty much cr crystal clear whereas here it looks pretty cloudy but the final product will be crystal clear. We don't have to add anything to it, so. Let me see here. Now this is the, uh, if you guys can smell this, it smells like wet corn. Yep, <laughs> we, we did put in some corn flake. Flake corn, right? Yep. yep. Yellow corn. Not totally the tiger. Yellow corn flakes. It wasn't a box of cereal. Okay, you saw it. You saw it right here. Now, you've never seen this before. That's actually how you make beer. Quality beer. I've had beer over here last night. The best beer I've ever had in my life. I promise you that. I'm not just saying that. Well, we kind of made a mistake. We're boondocking here in Superior, Wisconsin. That's the very, the very southern tip of Lake Superior. And we thought we'd come up here and do a little vacation time. But it's cold up here. There are no RV parks open. We're standing at a Walmart here and uh they're gracious enough to let us stay we gave them some business though but we're going to go ahead and split and get out of here uh we didn't know here it is may the 7th and the season hasn't even started here yet and it's cold y'all you hear you want it's cold so we're going to be getting out of here